Well, interesting day. Elsa's decided to sit in the back with the water bottles, so I don't know what's happening in there. I'm a bit tired, so I don't want to look in the hope that she's not jumping all over them and knocking them all out since we've just collected them all. In other news, we've had our first day of getting wood uh, or, or cutting down. Uh, one of the lads was cutting down the tree like a dead tree for firewood and uh, me and David were sorting out the workshop so we've had a productive day sorting things out getting things in order but there's so much work that needs to be done uh, so we can start working on the actual truck uh, and get that out and start working on the digger so I, I don't know uh, yeah it's just one of them things and I'm running low on fuel so I need to go to Castello and get that so yeah we're, we're just sorting things out and it's just been a real busy day and it feels weird because I feel like nothing really has been happening at home so that feels really really strange uh, not to be at home and running out of light so we left just after daylight came and we're going back now just as daylight ends so anyway we'll uh, get stuff sorted now and then uh, we'll go so I got back in and it's all go <laughs> You know, you, you can't just come in from a day's work and not do anything because when you're the, I guess, person who provides, I guess, uh, you can't just come in and sit down after you've finished work. You've got to come in and make tea. So came home, made tea, tidied up while making tea. So I tidied my bed and... All that kind of stuff because it was a bit of, bit of a mess. Um, made tea but sorted the dogs out at the same time. Did a little bit of washing and then the lads asked the lads to sort out the rest of the washing up because I don't know. I got up this morning and I made breakfast and they walked the dogs and I brewed up and then I made like a little cool box ready to take to work and everything so now I'm coming back and then I'm making tea and sorting out the dogs food and everything and just like all go and then trying to find things because things get moved when you're not here um, and then things have been broken uh, like a soy sauce bottle had been broken Oh boy, Batty. Batty's just worked out how to jump up off the chair. Well done. You, hey, you good boy. Hey, you good boy. I love you too. Are you going to be on the video? Because they can only see your butt right now. That's not really the best politeness. That's better. I know, my baby boy. So. Yeah. So yeah, we're we're home. We've all been fed. Bear's gone for a walk with the lads. I put the kettle on so they can have a warm drink when they get back. And me and Bats are going to bed, aren't we, Spudding? Hey, we are. We're gonna have a nice big cuddle. Might have a lie in tomorrow. Oh, I'm just dreaming. Hey. And ready because Sunday we've got a collection. Uh, we've got more things been donated, so we've got to go and collect them. So tomorrow we're not in work, um, not a working day as such. So we're sorting out all the stuff that got donated last time that's not been sorted, sorting out stuff for washing. You got itches? You got itches? Yeah. Hey, there you go. Is that, is that better? Hey, yeah. Look at your ears, eh? Look at your ears. So yeah, we we got what we're we doing. 
Okay, I'm going to sort out all that stuff. So we're going to have a, quite a bit of washing. And then we're going to go and do our laundry. Um, excuse me. Um, that's what happens when you neck your tea. Uh, and we're going to go and do our laundry on Monday morning. Go to Castello. But we've heard that Fundau is better than Castello for prices and for the market. But you know how it is when you go somewhere and you really like the vibe. And there was this little old lady and she was an absolute... I loved her. She, she was like like a proper... I think they call it Avosh in Portugal. And she's like a grandparent. And she was so lovely and patient with me and teaching me Portuguese and counting out money and pointing to things and getting me to say the word. And she was selling me a, a tease and... It was just like a proper traditional medicine woman. Wasn't she, Batty? Eh? Hey, you met the traditional medicine woman, didn't you? Eh? Hey, she beautiful. So I, I really want to go back and see her because her jam's divine, which of course it would be. And her tea is just amazing medicine. So I really, really, really want to go back and see her and buy some stuff. Maybe I can do like one week there and one week there. But at the moment, we have a lot of washing to do because of a lot of stuff that's been donated needs washing. And uh, the best, cheapest places to buy is in Castello Branco. Because it's it's 150 a load cheaper there than anywhere else. And fuel's cheaper as well at oh, okay. oh, Ocean. Something like that, I don't know. I can't say it. I'm sure someone will tell me how to say it again properly at another point in time. And until then, I know what I'm on about. And it doesn't matter if anyone else does or not, I suppose. <laughs> so, yeah. So, off we are to bed. And uh, hopefully we'll have a productive day of sorts tomorrow. Redoing everything that didn't get done right the first time. Um trying to work out what kind of communication thing it is uh, that's, you know, where where am I not communicating exactly what it is when I draw it out, when I point it out, when we discuss it and they repeat it back to me. What point in that, at what point in, uh, in that process does it go? Does it need to be written down as well? in specific orders with diagrams like or does the person just get overloaded and just need a one job at a time and then come back to me which when you go during the day and they have one job and um, they'd spend the rest of the day doing nothing and then it's it's probably actually more effective to have one job done a day right and it is to have one job a day done right and a couple of jobs done not right because then you have to spend the next time doing the other couple of jobs, uh, undoing them and then redoing them, which takes more time. So, yeah, it's probably more effective to just have one job done and then know that one job a day will be done right uh, rather than anything else. But it's, it's learning to work with each person. It's, it's learning to... Um, because I, I know I've done all sorts of courses on listening and communication and things, but it's everything so individual, you know. Each person is such a beautiful, amazing individual being that you've got to be really mindful of what their needs are, and it's so hard when they can't tell you what their needs are, you know, and you're kind of guessing and you're kind of working out as you're going. Uh, but it's all new I, I can hear them back bears returned which is good so I'll see you tomorrow night and God bless <laughs>